Thank you, Derek. Really Thank is. You very really much. is. It must seem strange for you sitting here on board the Steve Earl. It's a long way from the days when you and Lynn were sitting there trying to, you know, run a very small sanctuary. It's also an exciting moment. What was it like when you when you first walked up the gang gangway and came on came on board? I I just I just had a feeling that um, that Steve was here and uh, he's he's a very proud person at the moment. Very proud. You hear him catch a bloody ripper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was actually trying to tone him. Tone it down a bit, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what he'd do. He'd be so proud yeah. of I mean, his yes, whole, he would. whole life yeah. was enthusiasm. That was his oh, yes, mate. it was. Yeah. yeah. He, 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 was a, he was a very excitable guy, but he's, he's exactly the same as you and me. He was an average Australian. He, he was an ordinary Aussie bloke, but he had a talent. And uh, Steve's message is actually still going out there today. He always said that uh, growing up with you and with Lynn, um, he called her the Mother Teresa of, 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 of wildlife. And that, you know, growing up, you mean he, he could almost not do anything but what he ended up doing. Well, well, he he was a hyperactive kid, right? You know, right from the word go. But um, I just I just feel privileged to be his father, and. Um, I, I, you know, I'm one of those lucky people that had that opportunity, and uh, he never let me down. Still doesn't today. I mean, you've worked all your life with wildlife preservation. Steve gave his life to wildlife preservation. Do you ever get down? Do you ever think, how much have we achieved? Because there's still a hell of a lot to do. Oh, Darren, look, look, I, you know, I'm just like everybody else. I get frustrated. I get angry. I get. I go through all those emotions when you when you're out in the Australian bush somewhere and you see cruelty or um, you know an animal suffering because of what humans have done, and I don't think you ever get over that. And um, while whilst I still get those emotions, I will continue doing what I'm doing. Well, only this week he hacked off a, a crocodile for um, just for a trophy. Darren, can you can you imagine some psychopath waking up in the morning and wanting to kill some Australian wildlife? Why why would you feel like that? I I I, I just find that really really hard to understand. Well, the weird thing is that um, um, sociopaths, serial killers. You look back in the history, apart from being bed with us, they're all cruel to animals. They all tortured animals as children. So, the, so the science sort of were there. Uh, Darren, I, you know, I, I think we've be, we become a society that is that is more concerned with greed and corruption than, to, you know, taking care of this earth of ours. I always say we treat the planet like it belongs to somebody else, and I think that probably still exists. Let's talk about something close to your heart and mine and Colin Riddell's, um, dugongs and sea turtles. Where are you getting with that? I mean, it's, about, it's four or five years since we started this campaign to try and save the dugong. Where are we getting with this? We, we are, I believe we are, slowly winning the battle. What, what we've got to find, Darren, is... We've got to find a politician who has the guts and determination to make a decision that is not based on money, that, that, that is based on Mother Nature, based on protecting something that we've been given the opportunity to actually enjoy. But you see, your big problem, and you know you're fighting this one, is the idea about traditional hunting for Aboriginals. Uh, traditional hunting. It's not traditional anymore. They're going out in tinnies, after using a few tinnies, going out in tinnies with, with guns, with weapons, and destroying dugongs, destroying sea turtles. That wasn't what it was all about. Ex that, that is exactly right. If, if they still hunted in the old ways, how they were doing it 100, 200, or 1,000 years ago, 
I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have a problem with that mm. be, because their actual take of dugong and turtle would be very very minor however now not only are they taking them by these these modern methods of ours but they're 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 also selling the product which is highly illegal well, listen, we've, you know and I know we've seen eskies full of them um, full of them um, uh, uh, turtle flippers and I presume eggs and whatever um, coming in at, uh, in, in packets coming in at Cairns Airport. Exactly, Darren. And 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 what makes that worse is the fact that a lot of the people that are involved in this, yeah. which is very sad. So tell me about the coalition. You're, you're building a group of coalition, various a, a, a amazing group of people who are sort of getting behind you. Where are they all coming from? Darren, I've worked for years and years and years on this and, and, you know, together with my good friend Colin. And finally, finally we've got these groups together, groups from all around Australia who have the passion, they have the dedication and they have the knowledge. And I think this is the most exciting thing that's happened to Colin and I for years and years and years. And, 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 and I'm just... I'm just grateful to be sitting in this chair here. Um, on the Steve Irwin. On the, on the Steve Irwin. However, you know, I don't think they'll give me permission to take it out of the harbour. <laughs> <laughs> now, for a while there, you flirted with politics. Um, I call it the Mad Catter's Tea Party. Uh, <laughs> where do you stand now? Have you given up on that? You're going back to the week? What you know, um, Darren, just, just between you and me yeah. and, and, your, and your listeners, is um, I, I actually achieved what I set out to achieve. Yeah. And, 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 and that was to bring about some changes and to gain some um, issues getting out there in the public that I needed to get out. And, and, and so I was, I was happy with what, what happened and uh, take it from me, Darren. Uh, you'll hear nothing from politics out there anymore. <laughs> I'm finished. You're finished with it? <laughs> yes, I am. Did it burn you a bit, do you think? Yes, yes, but, uh, that, you know, they are, they are the risks you take. If you believe in something strong enough, as you do, um, I watch you almost every evening, and, and um, you're, you're the type of person that I admire because you... You not only believe in your country, but you believe in our people, and you and you stand up for our people. This is about Bob Irwin. No, and no, Hitch. no, yeah. no, um. no. This is about Darren Inch, <laughs> and, and 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 it's about Australians like like Dick Smith, who 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 are prepared to sacrifice themselves for their country and their people, and and. and I, I just admire that, yeah. and having the opportunity, which I thank Sea Shepherd Organisation for, to be able to come on this ship and and to I can I can actually feel Steve as a part. Ted, I mean, if Steve walked on here, he'd say, "Bloody ripper!" Have a look around. <laughs> Why don't we go and have a walk around and see what it's like? Good on you, mate. Good. Terrific. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Jeff.